If you know anything about the algorithm, you'll understand that whether you mark your price up 40%, 50%, 60%, or 20%, it really doesn't matter that much in the success of your product. Now, it certainly matters a little, don't get me wrong, but what matters the most is the initial trajectory of your listing. For those of you that don't know, when you list a product on Facebook, it doesn't just exist over time it actually has a shelf life. Also, we can both list the same exact product at the same exact time, at the same exact price, and get vastly different results. The reason being is Facebook measures your past customers, your past viewers. It takes into account your location when you list and the people around you as well as their interests. And it constantly tries to pair your product with other people on the platform who are looking for it. Therefore, if you're listing hot products, you're giving yourself a better chance of those products hitting. But ultimately, Facebook is a suggestion machine. Very few sales come directly as a result from somebody actually searching for a specific topic in marketplace and then comparing similar items, which is what most people think. The truth is Facebook actually knows everything about you and everything about me already. And they already have a good idea of the products we're looking for and when and which one of us are most likely to purchase what products and when. So based on a listing's initial trajectory, meaning like the click through rate, the conversion rate, the current demand on the platform, et cetera, it will either get more views as it snowballs or it won't and it'll die. That's why you see some of your listings take off and sell over and over and over again and some that literally never get any views at all. And that's also why we can both, like I said, both list the same exact products at the same exact time with the same exact price, the same exact description, the same exact title, et cetera, and get vastly different results because of the listing trajectories. It's really simple. The ones that had little to no views or little to no traction are the ones that Facebook tested, but the initial people that they showed them to didn't respond well to them, and so Facebook stopped suggesting it. On the other hand, right, the ones that took off had complete the complete opposite trajectory. They were shown to people either searching for them on Facebook or they were suggested to people that Facebook believed were looking for those products. And then they got positive interactions, positive clicks, and maybe even purchases, which then signaled to Facebook like, okay, this product has demand, customers like it, so let's show it to more people. And that's how a listing takes off. So that means if a listing doesn't get any traction initially, that's totally fine. You can renew it and relist it when the time comes, which is every seven days, and give it another chance to take off then. The secret here is there's no limit to the amount of times that you can renew and relist the product. You can keep doing it over and over and over again once you list it. So as you add more hot products to your store and you keep renewing and relisting them, if they don't take off, then you're simply multiplying your chances of exponentially increasing your sales going forward as you add more and more products that take off.